Twenty now from Tajikistan, and I'm going to talk about my country today. Okay, so now a bit of geography. Uh, Tajikistan is located in Central Asia. Um, this is our map. It's a really small country. Uh, it's actually the smallest country in Central Asia. We're uh, sharing borders with China, uh, Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. Um, so this is our flag. It consists of four colors, three colors, okay. Red, white, and green, and yeah. So now a bit of history, but it's not really boring. Okay, so first let's go 3,000 years or 6,000 years ago. Um, it was, yeah, it was a long time ago. Tajiks were initially believing in Zoroastrianism which is basically they believed in God Zarathustra and they were praising fire and it was really important in their religion. Uh, and next, uh, there came Arabs around 7th century and after Arabs came then Tajiks and Iran and Afghanistan, yeah, we became Muslims, we started practicing Islam. And after that, after Arabs, they come Russian, the Russian Empire. Under Russian Empire, uh, we were really influenced by Russian culture, uh, by their traditions and stuff. Um, yeah, and after Russian Empire, there was USSR, and in 1991, when USSR split, Tajikistan became independent. Yay! Okay, so now, this, even nowadays, you can find this, these temples in some places of Tajikistan where they still practice Zoroastrianism. And this is a picture of two Tajik men in the period under the Russian Empire. And these are beautiful girls in ta Tajik national dresses in the times of independence. Okay, so now about food. Let's talk about main dishes. Basically, it's osh. Uh, it's kind of biryani, but it's better. In a, sense, <laughs> <laughs> in a sense that rice and meat and carrots are layered but not mixed as it is in biryani. Uh, next we have kurtok. It's a mixture of cucumber, tomatoes, greens, onions, fatir. It's kind of paratas, um, so like paratas, paratas, blood, paratas, layers of paratas, and there you have fatir. And there, next we have chakha. It's made from sour milk. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it, so you should try. Uh, next we have sumalak. It's made from wheat. Uh, and the interesting part about this, it has to be mixed for 24 hours. So actually, there is a legend about it. Um, long time ago, there was a woman, she lost her husband, she had seven children, she didn't have anything to feed them. So one day, she just grabbed a pot, she put um, grown wheat seeds inside, and then she just started mixing it. Her children kept asking her, okay, mom, we're hungry, where are we gonna eat? And then she kept saying like, oh, just wait for a bit, once the meat is ready, we're gonna eat. And then she kept throwing stones inside and kept mixing it, saying that this is meat. Um, yeah. She kept mixing it for 24 hours, and then she fell asleep, and her kids fell asleep. In the morning, once she wakes up, she flat, oh, sorry. She opens the pot, and she finds uh, the pot, which is full of sumala. And this was really filling and tasty, and this is how they started cooking it every year. So this is Osh. Uh, this is kurutok. It's really tasty. Yeah. And this is sumalak. Yeah. So you, you, fix, you mix it for 24 hours, right? And you think of it like, how? How is it even possible? So women, they take turns and they just mix it, mix it, mix it. And it, it's really good. You have to try it. I hope we can do it for next Eid, inshallah. Yeah. So lastly, we have nature. Uh, as you may have known, if you don't know, probably Tajikistan is a very mountainous country. And 90% of our area are covered by mountains, which are um, higher than 1,000 meters above the sea level. And the highest peak is 7,495. Uh,